Welcome to this presentation. I'm Chou Ying Wu. Today, I'll present the work Scene Completeness Aware LiDAR Depth Completion for Driving Scenario. We are a research group from University of Southern California. LiDAR Depth Completion is a task with an image and raw sparse depth as inputs. We would like to complete the sparse depth maps into dense ones that show scene structures. The advantage is that dense depth maps can benefit the downstream high-level vision tasks for RGBD methods such as semantic or instant segmentation. These are illustration examples using the state-of-art depth completion methods. We can see that the overseen structures are skewed and distorted, even using the state-of-art methods. This stems from that no ground truth that annotation is acquired in existing datasets like Kitty. Since the semi-dense ground truth comes from accumulating LiDAR measurements across different frames, and LiDARs have limited angular resolution and scan lines. Therefore, for the upper scene structures, they are void in the ground truth depth. However, for an RGBD method, an object level inconsistency would result in ambiguity, since information from imagery and depth do not pair together. However, this issue we call scene completeness is mainly ignored in the previous work, since, for one, depth completion is treated as a standalone task for them. Second, outdoor RGBD methods are hard due to the obstacle of outdoor range sensing. Third, upper scenes are ignored since in most cases, upper scenes are sky and trees. In contrast to conventional depth completion, we raise the issue of scene completeness and make concrete improvements over the prior artworks. First, we validate our scene completeness aware depth on semantic segmentation, and second, we improve over previous SOTA work on outdoor semantic segmentation using our scene completeness aware depth. Third, we raise counterexamples that other things are not important. For example, traffic signs or poles extend to the upper scenes, or in a case when there is a large truck in front. These are both very important scenes for the driving scenarios. We leverage the ability of sterile matching. Recent sterile matching using neural networks could provide dense disparity and depth estimation. Results from the sterile match matching provide more structures in depth compared with results obtained from LiDAR completion. To make a comparison, each modality has its advantage. For sterile matching, it has structure upper scene depth, and for the LiDAR, its lower scene depth are more its lower scene depth is more accurate. Therefore, in this work, we propose scene completeness aware depth completion to fuse depth information from different sensors under the sensor fusion scheme. The first part is the base units for sterile matching and LiDAR completion. Then we get the predictions. Later, we perform a probabilistic fusion of depth from two sensors using pixel-wise confidence scores. To be specific, we propose an APC module, attentional point confidence module, to, in, to infer confidence scores. The fuse depth is produced by the shown relation. Here, we show the structure of the APC module with raw LiDAR scan and its corresponding mask. We adopt sparse attentional convolution, SA convolution, used in our previous NURIS 2019 work. SA convolution extracts sparse features on two degrees with a tracking visibility mask. To better guide the learning of the confidence scores, 
we create a guide from raw masks. To, to obtain the proper guide, we calculate the density along the scan line for Kitty and set confidence scores to 1 for the raw point positions. Next, we dilate with a 3x3 kernel and choose a variance that drops values to half with one pixel distance from the center. The confidence score for sterile maps are complementary to LiDARs. This indicates that LiDAR measurements are generally more precise than sterile disparity, and we set higher confidence scores to LiDAR for a pixel point. Note that this is a guide and not a hard constraint. Networks still have flexibility to learn more proper confidence maps. Last, we adopt a stack hourglass network for stage refinement. And the semi-dense death map is used for supervision. The total loss function is presented here. We have supervision on stage outputs for stack hourglass networks and the supervision on the confidence maps. We have the following discussion. First, ever seen structures come from the prior knowledge of sterile matching. The structures are retained through the death fusion by the, follow, by the given relation. Since LiDAR could not capture the upper part, their confidence scores are almost zero. Next, the stacked hourglass networks learns a depth mapping from the core's estimation to finer depth values. However, however, only lower scenes have available annotations. The network should not be overparameterized. That could overfit the lower scene depth regression. Here we show results of overparameterization and overfitting. When the network is too deep, the upper scene structures are distorted and become irregular. The left column example comes from a proper size neural network. Advantage. The advantage is that combining prior information of structure upper scenes from sterile matching and accurate depth estimation by LiDAR completion, we can obtain a both scene completeness aware and accurate scene depth. Which for the experiment, we use Kitty depth completion dataset and adopt a widely used matrix, RMSE, REL, and Delta series. The Delta series describe the portion of correctly estimated depth values within the tolerance. The lower values of RMSE and REL mean better estimation, and higher values of Delta series show better performance. We show numerical results here. Our SCATC outperforms the base units of sterile matching, of sterile matching based method and LiDAR completion based method. PSM and PSMNet and SSDC are sterile, sterile matching based methods and LiDAR completion based methods, respectively. Note that in this table, death estimation errors from sterile matching are larger than death completion showing that, generally, LiDAR produces more accurate depth. We also show visual comparison. Our SCADC has better referencing structures. On the leftmost example, we show a clearer bicycle area, which is better than the estimation from LiDAR completion-based method. Besides, the false color indicates that the depth accuracy is higher in our SCADC than the sterile matching based methods. When next compare with state of our methods, the results are directly from Kitty official from Kitty official site. Among these methods, only our SCADC can reconstruct the upper scene structure. The other work, they either reconstruct a void area or a irregular or distorted areas for the upper scenes. Further, contrary to the prior work, we study the applicability 
and the practicability for the completed depth maps. We validate on RGBD outdoor semantic segmentation with our sync completed sync aware depth maps. We use Kitty semantic segmentation and out of, and out of the 200 data, only 142 are associated with sterile pairs and LiDAR scans. So we separate the available data into 121 as the training set and the rest 21 for as the testing set. We adopt MIOU as the metric, mean intersection over union, which is a widely adopted metric in the semantic segmentation. We show the result and compare with the recent state-of-the-art work on outdoor semantic segmentation using RGBD data. SSMA is a current state-of-the-art method, and we use SSMA combined with our sync completeness aware data. Our sync completeness aware data fundamentally improves the performance over SSMA, which validates that our sync completeness aware data is important and could can could potentially assist the semantic segmentation performance. We also show reasonable segmentation results visually using SSMA with our depth map. Here's the demo. The first example shows a large truck, and we can see that there is a huge truck driving in front of us. Our SC ADC could correctly is reconstruct the depth. And for the next example, we are driving in the campus, and there are a lot of trees, cars, uh, around us, and our SCADC could also correctly reconstruct the whole scene depth and attend a scene, aware, a scene completeness aware depth. And also, we can see that there's a huge van just passing by, and our SCADC could reconstruct its depth. And the last example is, is shown by driving in the city, and we can see that there are a lot of uh, pedestrians, riders, trees, or buildings around us, and uh, this is a complex scene, and our SDC, SADC could also correctly reconstruct the scene depth. In summary, sensor fusion for LiDAR and sterile cameras obtains both scene complete and accurate depths. Counter examples for the non-importance of upper scene depth are raised. Many examples show that upper scene structures are important for the driving scenario. Last, we illustrate real-world applications for completed depth on outdoor RGBD semantic segmentation, contrary to previous works that treat depth completion as a standalone task. Thank you for your listening, and please take a look at our poster number 2152 for more illustrations, demos, and code and data link.